my friends. It is time. It is time for my fresh playthrough. Very excited. Um, it's been a while. Been quite a while. I'm planning a pretty just chill, hang out, do the things I enjoy kind of playthrough. Um, probably not going for perfection or completion or whatever. We're just going to have a real nice cozy time. I'm in my pajamas. I've, I've got some nice hot chocolate. And we're just going to enjoy ourselves. Although... I have not yet decided what type of farm I'm going to create and what my favorite thing should be. Sandwich. Sandwiches. I hope I'm going to spell sandwiches wrong. <laughs> sandwiches. I might be adjusting the game audio a little bit. Um, maybe I'll go with Orange Kitty because that's what I have in real life. Um, just to get it, get it right so it's not too loud because I seem to always have trouble with that. What kind of hair do we want? That's kind of cute. Oops. Hmm, do we go with weird color or my hair color? I don't even know how to make it my hair color. Ooh, it's not saturation. <laughs> I don't know how to make it my hair color. Ooh, eye color. Where do we go with weird? Okay. Yeah, that's that's good enough. Do I do my eye color, I guess? Can't really see the eyes. I'm like changing everything as I go. Let's do some white pants. Why not? Yeah, I don't really like white pants. Okay. What's our shirt gonna be? Well, that's kind of cute. I think the first time I played Stardew, is that like the top half of an overall? You couldn't even, like there were very, <clears throat> like either no or very few clothing options. I don't quite remember. Oh, pants. Okay, so maybe we'll yeah, that's good enough. Um, I don't want any of that. Yeah, there were it, there were just like very few options. It was a lot less. Okay. Which one do I do? I've done standard. I've done Riverland, and I think I've done Forest Farm. Winding River make it difficult to design your farm. Eh, mineral deposits is not worth it. Oh, I wonder. Ooh, should I do a wilderness farm? Will I hate this because the monsters might attack my animals? I don't know. Oh, I'm interested. Four parcels. Perfect for a group. Beach farm. Good foraging and fishing, but no. Oh, do I do wilderness or do I do beach farm? I mean, I want a cozy playthrough, so I don't know if having monsters come out at night would be good, but... Oh, you guys, I'm stuck. I don't know. Should I just do beach farm? I'm going to regret it no matter which one I do. I don't know. Wilderness farm just sounds kind of interesting. <laughs> I think I'm going to go wilderness. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do a wilderness farm playthrough. So I am intrigued. We're going for it. Hello, Grandpa. And for my very special granddaughter. Everyone's probably seen this intro a million times, but it's actually been a really long time since I've seen it. I want you to have the sealed envelope. <laughs> no, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. I think, oh, now listen close, a lot of times when I played this, I just like always skipped through and never read a lot of the dialogue, so we'll go. We'll go full this time. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Feel it? We're already there, Grandpa. 
and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Dark. Those little hands moving. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Thank you, Grandpa. This little hand. Now let Grandpa rest. An unknown number of years later. Yeah, I like, I barely remember this. So we worked for Joja before, Joja Cola. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I like went through this one time and then just always skipped the intro after that. And I think the first time, I don't know how long Stardew has been out, but I remember I played it on my old laptop. So it, was, it had to at least be like eight years ago. Has Stardew been out that long? I think it has. But yeah, my first playthrough, um, maybe there was a lot of hype around Stardew before, but like I had no idea what it was. I was just like, oh, this game sounds cute. And I played it and loved it. Dear Shelly, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Turnip Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? It's, I didn't realize Lewis is that old. I feel like my hot chocolate's still going to be way too hot. Hmm, it's not too bad. Can you guys hear me slurping? Get a little ASMR going on. This! So cute! I love the mountains. Vroom! Stardew Valley, 0.5 miles. Weird. <laughs> ah, I've missed this. Oh, my hair's kind of weird. Oh well. Hello, you must be Shally. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here. If you'll follow me. Oh, I already forgot we're doing the wilderness farm. Oh, nervous. I hope I don't hate it because I want this to be like a long full playthrough and I really don't want to start over. So even if I hate it, I guess we're just going with it. This is Turnip Farm. <laughs> oh no. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Will I, Robin? Will I? And here we are, your new home. Lewis just pops out of there. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. I am a big deal, Lewis. I'm glad you understand. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. <laughs> rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> Rude! <laughs> oh, I don't remember any of this. Don't listen to her, Shally. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Robin's face. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. I feel like I have something in my eye. Go away, Lewis. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. I forgot to mention we are playing on Switch, so there will be no mods of any sort. We're doing nice vanilla stardew here. Other than being a wilderness farm that I've never done. I'm kind of sad I didn't do the beach farm, but oh well. Oh, 
All the inside's different. It's so cute. It's kind of spooky. Oh, I like the spookiness. That makes me happy. Okay, I'm happy now. I am pleased. Got my parsnips. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. So I wonder if the monsters will destroy my parsnips. That would be upsetting. So we'll just clear out this little front area for my parsnips in the beginning. I'm also going to have to remember my controls. Get out of here. Yep. Like I said, I've got to remember my controls. What am I doing? Okay. Here we go. Maybe we'll feel more. Well, not always shall plant, plant the nips. I should have named it Parsnip Farm instead of Turnip Farm. Oh, were there five? Oh, there are more. Uh, it's hard to see. Oh, I got a loud seed already. We'll plant that too. Oh, he gave us a lot. Go, go, go. Okay, that's probably too many. Yes. Do it. Okay. Plant the wild seed. And then we'll just go look around the farm, see what's different about it. You guys will have to let me know um, how the sound is. If I should turn up the game audio a little bit more in the next ones. I can't tell. I mean, I can hear it. And I know my audio has been too loud in other recordings, so I was trying to like have this one right from the get-go, but I don't know. We'll see. You guys let me know. Should I turn up my game audio? Because I know that's like half of the appeal of watching a Stardew Let's Play is just to like have all the game sounds. Oh, I can't wait to get my kitty in the background. I just don't want them to be too low. Ah, so far this farm setup is looking pretty normal. <clears throat> Which makes me sad. I wanted it to be very different. We'll have to come out. Oh, I don't even have a sword yet. I'm gonna need to go get myself a sword before these monsties come out at night. Oh no, you know what? I just realized um, <laughs> my screen is not sized correctly, so I can't see my energy right now. So we're going to have to fix that. Uh, maybe we'll go do <laughs> some introductions um, so I can play out the rest of this day before I fix that screen size. Because that's not going to work. I got to be able to see my energy. Boop. Start that foraging. Gotta fix the bus, fix the minecarts. Community center is usually kind of a priority for me and we will probably do that again. Just because it's nice to have the extra perks. And the greenhouse is special. Greenhouse is the main priority. Can I not introduce myself to you? It's okay. Let me come back there. There we go. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Everyone always says he's like one of the best partners you can pick. I've never picked him before. Oh, we're gonna have to remember everyone's birthdays. Get a calendar. Oh, Mary Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Let's see what weird thing Abigail has to say. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving onto that old farm. Hey, it's Miss Shelley, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Will you, Pierre? Let's go get... What's her name? Caroline? 
Hello, you must be Shelly, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Good for you. They have a big house back there. Oh, I already know you. Oh no, it's Leah, not Robin. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hot chocolate break. Even though I'm quite warm right now. Moving on, Gus should be open. Gus! Talk to me, Gus. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Stardrop Saloon. Hi, Gus. Do, do, do. Honey! Honey! Oh, there goes Evelyn. I think it shows me who I've met, right? Oh, hello, I'm Penny. Like it keeps track. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. No, I will not. <laughs> I absolutely will not. No, thank you. Although I do like Evelyn, she's cute. Maybe this should finally be my Crobus playthrough where I get, oops, Crobus as a roommate, considering I have a spooky monster farm. It might be fun. Ready? Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. How did you imagine me, Jody? Vincent? Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Thanks really big of you. Go down to the beach. So I think I want to be inside before dark today until I get a sword. feel like that would be a good idea. Idiot. Wouldn't it be so nice to like have your house in a place where you could just walk to the mountains, or walk to town, or walk to the beach. It would be perfect. Does such a place exist? It's probably a million dollars. My cat's settling down in here with me. Okay, let's... I think that's already three out of four things for our spring bundle. I think the last ones usually take a couple days to pop up, don't they? Do, 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 do. So I don't think we can even go in there yet. Getting ahead of myself. Let's go. I really don't know how to fix my screen. I hope I can figure it out. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. You're welcome. Where is my... What's his name? Linus? Oh, there he is. I don't remember how I get my sword. Better figure that out. A stranger. Hello. Hello. I remember the first couple times. Oh, I can't even go over there yet. I played. And I was like, oh, a horse is pointless. I don't need a horse. But the horse is so nice to have <laughs> once you get really tired of walking everywhere. Okay. Since I can't see my energy, maybe we'll go to sleep and I'll pause for a second and try to fix my screen. I'm using, like, an older TV as my uh, monitor. I have another mix seed, but it must wait. I don't know what my energy looks like. Okay, we're gonna have an early bedtime today uh, so I can see to my screen. So you'll be right back. Yes. Okay, that was fortunately much easier to fix than I thought it was gonna be. So I can see my energy bar now. Yay. <clears throat> I need to put my hair up because I'm hot. Litter? Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Oh, Willie. 
Oops, forgot to fill my can. Well, that's kind of nice that the water's so close for my can in the beginning. Oh, I need to do a scarecrow. Oh, and my inventory's full. Ooh, so scarecrow, chest, uh, willy. So much to do in the beginning. It's like so much to do, but also so little to do because um, I don't have animals yet. And I might wait, even though I want to do community center, I might wait a little while on the animals um, to see what's going to be up with the wilderness farm. Oh, I don't even have a recipe for a scarecrow yet. So never mind. Chest. Maybe we'll get some wood for a chest. Um, so yeah, I might just do plants for a while and see what I can get from the traveling cart in terms of animal goods and do the animals a little later. I also... <laughs> Uh, I have a stupid idea. It's probably been done before, but I kind of want to name my animals um, after each of the villagers. <laughs> uh, so, like, my chickens can be Emily and Elliot, and I just think that would be fun and dumb. <laughs> so hopefully I can remember to do that. I'll probably forget once I have my animal and it's time to do it. Uh-oh. We have a second cat in here, and she doesn't look like she's gonna go to bed like the first one. Hi! You wanna say hello? Do you want to say hello? See if you can see her. There she is. Look at the camera. Hmm? Huh? No? Okay. Away with you. Okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah. Let's get rid of my sap for now. I know I'll want it later, but I'm sure I'll get plenty. Okay, where are we going to start keeping all of our stuff? Hmm, because I know I'm going to have multiple chests. Usually, like, I used to always put them along there. But maybe we'll just start, like, a patch of... Oops. A patch of chests here. And... We can put a little work workbench in the middle. I remember enough. See, I'm pretty good. I mean, at least I think I am pretty good at like all the initial setup of the game because I've done it a lot. Um, but once we get a little later in the game, I'm going to be clueless. Um, but hopefully you guys can help me. Oh, well, my energy. Okay. Maybe we'll save all that for some field snacks. Pretty good. Okay, what should we do with the rest of our time? It's only 11. I guess we could go to Gus's a little later in the day and try and meet some more people. Um, a chocolate break. Mm. Flower. It would be so fun to live in a place where you could just like naturally forage a lot of stuff too. I live in the southwest so we can forage like prickly pears and mesquite beans. I don't think we might get Haley. And mm, like maybe watercress by the rivers. And yeah not that much else. I mean I'm sure there's other things I don't know of but not as good as in Stardew. Doop. Oh. Alright, how do we open my journal in here? Journal? Oh. Is it Gunther? Visit the beach before 5 p.m. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Great people. Can probably fit in the beach on Gunther. Oh yeah, because Willie. That's why we had to come today. Willie! Hello! Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. 
smoke in his pipe. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. I think you have to get Willie's friendship all the way up for Ginger Island. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod, or at least somewhat high. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive, and hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. I, I have a love-hate with fishing. Like, it took me a really long time to understand how to do it in the beginning. There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. So yeah, it took me a long time to learn it, and then I got decent at it, but it makes my thumb hurt. <laughs> oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Heh <laughs> heh. That's what old Poppy used to say anyway. Cute. So we'll see. I mean, I'm sure I'll do a decent amount of fishing, but we're not going to be grinding the fishing because then I won't be able to use my hand the next day. As you can see, my hands are not the greatest to begin with. I can do it without bait, right? Just takes a little longer. I guess we'll find out right now. Oh gosh, this is going to be bad. Don't laugh at me. Oh, my fishing bar is so small. Oh, it's so small. Oh no. Oh no. That was so bad. Okay. That wasn't terrible. Okay, let's go to the museum. Let's go! Go deposit our rusty spoon! Oh, I think backpack upgrade will also be a priority. Money for backpack upgrade. Oh, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose rival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. I think Elliot was the second relationship I did. First I did Sebastian and he was terrible. Well shit. And um, wait, where's it going? Oh yeah. And then I did Elliot after that. Um, it was all right. <laughs> I was thinking maybe Penny this time. If Penny's any good, abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. But we'll see. Maybe we'll just do purpose. <laughs> What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Here's a spoon. Take my spoon. <laughs> Remarkable. Remarkable spoon. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Nah, dude, you can have my spoon. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Yes, you may have my spoon. I don't think I've ever played long enough to actually complete the museum. I've gotten pretty far, but no completion. Okay, how are we going to organize this? Hmm, maybe this one up here will be non-gemstone objects. You're welcome. Oh wait, I can meet the rest of the... I don't think I met Jazz yet. I think I met those two. Hello! Dot dot dot. Hi. Mm -hmm. Now I guess we could... Mm, I guess we could go check out Jojo too and then go to Gus's once everybody's gonna be in there. I wonder if Pam's home or if she's working. Now we can... I don't remember if we caught Evelyn or not. George! Hmm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Hmm. I like George. I feel like George is a Capricorn. <laughs> and I'm a Capricorn. Fuel your life. Yeah. 
I've also never done a JoJo playthrough, but I don't think I want to. Hey kid, the name's Pam. It's like any time I play, it's like start a game thinking I'm gonna do an evil playthrough. There's just like a certain... Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. There's just like certain things I can't, I can't do. I just can't be that mean. Welcome to Jojo Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Jojo Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Jojo member, I'll be delighted to help you make your transition a joyous experience. Skeevy. Okay. We still have a little while, I think, before everyone's going to show up to Gus's. Oh, I forgot that we started out with some money. I could have been getting some more seeds. So how was your first night in the old cottage? It was great. Um, I would like to do all seeds, but we will get some potatoes for some money. So my thought is to plant the potatoes and then come back to Gus's, but what if the monsters come out and I don't have a sword yet? Uh-oh, my cat's looking mischievous. No, 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 you don't go there. No, no, uh-uh. Okay, oh, oops, I don't have any energy. So, I guess we'll be doing that tomorrow. I mean, I guess I could eat my leek. It probably won't give me much, though. I also... <laughs> When just playing on my own, I usually just go to bed at like 4 o'clock every day. Um, then I get impatient. Oh, I forget, can I shake trees to get seeds? I think I can. But I won't do that. I'll go to bed at 5.30 instead. <laughs> do, 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 do. For you, oh, I already met you. So I'll be able to get Emily in here. I think she works here, I guess? I already got you. Did I get Alex? I don't remember. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. We're not gonna get along great, Alex. You're like the worst one. The worst. <laughs> okay. Did I meet Gus yet? I think I did. Hey, please relax and enjoy yourself. Oof! I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work, obviously. Yes. <laughs> Anyone over here? I also hate the arcade games. Beer. Do, 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 do. I mean, going to bed at six isn't that bad, right? I wonder if Mar no Mar work is over. So I still need Maru and Sebastian. Where's my... Okay, so... Yeah, so there's everyone I haven't met yet. Oh, we're making good progress. I'll get... can get... what's his name? Clint tomorrow. Clint, Maru, Sam, Sebastian, and the wizard going pretty well. I guess we'll go to bed <laughs> since we're out of energy and tomorrow we can plant our potatoes. Don't worry, once I have a sword we'll, we'll see what happens in the wilderness at night. Level 1 foraging, wild seeds, field snack. I guess I don't get the recipe for my scarecrow until crows destroy some of my crops, huh? Probably. I just love the difference in the house. It's so cute. I love things, oops, I mean to do that, that are like spooky but not scary. Ooh, we get some rain. Like that's my favorite kind of vibe. Spooky, maybe a little bit paranormal, but like nothing that's gonna give me nightmares. It's the best kind of vibe. Okay, let's plant our potatoes. 
and not have to water them. Does the traveling cart appear from the beginning? I wonder. It's like thir Thursdays and Sundays, maybe? I guess we'll do stuff, clear off stuff until my scant amount of energy wears out. Trees. I always save all of my wood and stone for later projects, but like, and I end up with way too much of it. Stacks and stacks. My cat is out there trying to open the door. I've mentioned it. I don't think, I don't think I mentioned in this video. I think I mentioned in other videos that my cats have learned to open drawers. They can open cabinets and they're trying really hard to learn how to actually open doors um in one room that my cat was in there's like a bedside table beside the door and she was in there alone and she was trying to open the door and she like locked herself in the room and i had to pick the lock to get to her um so yeah they're ridiculous <laughs> and it's all the one cat my my eldest she is very industrious and got really good at opening things and the other two didn't learn for a long time but I think they just like watched her enough that now they all know how to do it and they figured out which drawer their treats were in the other day and I came in and it was open and all their treat bags were chewed through. Yes I am a crazy cat lady in case you were wondering. I have three. <laughs> Not by choice, they all just kind of, I just kind of ended up with them. I had not wanted any cats to begin with because I like somehow thought I was a dog person. I always had dogs. I had cats growing up, but I didn't have cats in adulthood. And I had never wanted any cats. And then a family member, oh, can't pick it up, found a little sick stray kitten her tail was broken and she was like she had like bad diarrhea and she was very sickly um and they were gonna take her to the pound and i just could not bear it so i was like okay well i'll take her and you know get her healthy and then you know figure something out isn't, isn't this always the way it goes and oh yeah we were gonna go meet clint and so i took her and it took like six months to get her healthy. Like we went to the vet so many times. She had like multiple tests and it like her main thing was just like really bad diarrhea. Like she would eat and play and stuff, but like just constantly like her insides were just liquid and she was so sick. And so we went to multiple vets, um, all these tests, they tried all these different like medications and like deworming and like parasite stuff and just like tr basically treating everything because they didn't know what was wrong with her and this went on for like six months and nothing worked and uh oh and she was just like she was to the point where she was gonna die and first my aunt who has cats like and she had a cat with kind of a problem like that and she was like get her like really good kibble instead of wet food and see if that works and that helped a little bit and then the other thing I did just out of desperation is I just started sprinkling a little bit of psyllium husk in her food and within days it fixed her she was completely fine um she started gaining weight and I did the psyllium husk for a couple months and then tested out stopping it and like she has been fine ever since. Just a perfectly healthy cat. Um, and this is all to say I had her for like six months trying to get her better. So at that point, I'm not going to rehome her. So that's how I ended up with a cat after many years of not having cats. Ten iron ores. Um, and then I realized that I am a cat person. I mean, I still love my dog, of course. Um... I still have a dog. She's a 
Bloodhound Black Lab mix, I think. She's also a rescue that um, I wasn't planning on getting a dog and a different family member had her and because like she came from like a bad history um she was really hard to like potty train and the family member just couldn't deal with her so I took her too anyway so um I have her but I'm a cat person like completely I'm just I love my kitties the other two were barn cats from yet another family member and they only wanted me to take one <laughs> But they were siblings, and I, I couldn't part, part them, so I stole both of them. But no more. Absolutely no more. Like, three cats is a lot of cats. It's a lot easier than three dogs, which I had for a short period of time years ago. Um, but, like, one was really, really old, so I ended up with two dogs for a long time. But, yeah, it's a lot. It's just a lot. <laughs> Especially with them all being fairly young so they have a lot of energy and uh, a lot of capacity for mischief I guess yeah it's just gonna be a chill clearing out day I told you this was gonna be a chill playthrough we are just doing whatever we are just having a good time I hope I'm recording okay I am we're just having a nice rainy day I wish it was rainy here right now it's so hot already Chopping some trees. I just want to be on this rainy farm right now. I don't know how I got into a whole cat tangent. Hopefully that wasn't too boring. Hopefully I have other cat people watching this and they'll understand. Okay. <clears throat> I think we can bring that to the museum. Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need that many of these. Let's sell some. Okay, we could plant that mix seed too, I guess. Oops. Doop. Doop, doop. Keep everything. So we'll take the earth crystal tomorrow. Doop. Mm, probably just gonna get trash here. Let's see. I have oh I have enough energy to fish like once maybe get some trash yep <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother hanging on to that trash um until I get my little trash compactor thingy all right you guys it's 350 I mean I guess we could go meet the wizard maybe I don't remember if I can meet him um oh it's gonna take all my energy to get through here you know what, we're going to bed screw it we're having a good time. We're not doing things right. It's okay. I forgot what I was saying. It's gone. It has left me. 90. 90 gold. Hot chocolate, right? I wish you guys... I wonder if I can show you right, this way how cute this cup is. It's like a little, little bunny thing saying hi. It's so cute. Alright, it's another day on Spooky Farm. So today would be traveling cart day if it's coming already. I don't, I don't know why I'm clicking that. I'm looking for my recipes. A letter? I keep finding cool stuff. My backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Yes, it does. Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. What is it? It's like a few thousand, I think, the backpack. So maybe we'll go meet the wizard and bring that earth crystal to the museum and then maybe we'll fish some if we have the energy oh i can't wait to get a sprinkler i wonder when the mines are going to open up for me i didn't it's been so long i didn't remember that you like you can't go to the mines in the beginning i want my sword Okay, let's make our way. Yeah, I feel like this farm is just exactly like the base farm 
other than, you know, stuff coming out at night. Maybe I can get lots of spooky decor to put around eventually and make it like an extra spooky, spooky vibe farm. I don't know why I'm even checking this. I don't have any money. <laughs> I guess just to see if she's here. Oh, and she's not. So, is I think it's Thursday that she comes. I could be wrong. Maybe it's, is it Friday and Sunday? Hmm, maybe we'll check again tomorrow. Okay, we already met everyone in there. Oh yeah, wizard. Do the wizard, he's over here, right? Maybe I'll find some more wordables. <laughs> uh, am I going too far down? Is he up or down? Oh no. Well, at least there's my final foragable. Okay. I think he was up, maybe. I hope so. I guess I could be getting more fiber. Even though my inventory is full. I hope he was up. Maybe he wasn't. Okay. Yes. Wizard! Ah, oh, I can hear him inside, so I guess I have to wait for him to contact me. So maybe... And the community center won't be open yet either. So maybe we'll drop our stuff off. And then take the earth crystal to Clint, and then maybe we'll do a little fishing. That sounds nice. Divide up our day. Hot chocolate break. Oh gosh, spoon. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could just do more farm clearing too instead of fishing, but fishing might be more entertaining. I'll do a little more farm clearing every day until we get there. Yep, yep. Some stuff away. Mm. I mean, I guess we could make a wild seed too. Should we do that? Is that an, do I have everything I need? I think I do. I'll have to get another leak for the community center, but it's not open yet, anyways. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll just plant all this instead of fishing today. Although we should probably still go Earth Crystal, Mr. Clinty. Exciting. Look at all our crops. I wonder when a crow will come. Yeah, I like the idea of making this a, a spooky farm if I can. Just like anytime I come across something spooky looking, I'll grab it. I also will not be editing out any of my walking scenes because we're just playing to have a good time. So uh, you'll just get a constant stream with a, like a stream of consciousness from me. Whether you like it or not, Bream. We'll see if I get one. I don't remember where Bream is from. Lake? Oh, that's the nighttime fish, right? It's nighttime, but from what body of water, I do not know. Maybe we'll try some river fishing here. Wait, museum, yeah. I bring you earth crystal. So, I don't know what we'll put over there, but we'll start it with that. I also never knew until I like saw it on someone else's playthrough that like you when you find all the books and they're all floating there you can like go and read them or whatever and they'll all get put away and I just like never did that I always just had all my books floating forever. I'm not gonna catch this fish and then I'll be humiliated. I always do like lots of fish ponds for some reason too, even though like they're not that great, but I don't know, I like the fish ponds. Do, 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 do. 
I mean, like the sturgeon one, obviously. Get that caviar. But the other ones, like, aren't really worth that much, but I still do them. I guess I'll sell all my fish to begin with and worry about the community center ones later. It's cool. Oh yeah, I still don't have bait. <laughs> but I have energy. I can keep going. I love all the little butterflies. So cute. Oh, my eyes are getting dry. I'm not blinking enough. Mm, small enough. Oh yeah, but I was talking about the ponds because you use algae as one of the pond ingredients so I always save all my algae and seaweed. Total my ponds. I guess maybe I just do ponds because there's something fairly easy to do earlier in the game. I'm not even going to try to get that chest, sorry. Here I said we weren't going to grind fishing. Yeek. What is that thing at the top of George and Evelyn's house? It looks like a big, like, like an owl head or something. What is that? Tell me if you know what that is. I'm intrigued. I would like one for my own house since my house is going to be spooky. Get out of here. I don't have room for you. more fishy and then maybe we'll move along. I wonder if I does going to the oh yeah I need to catch a bream too. I don't remember what body of water the bream is from though. I was just wondering if that would activate the community center. We have 143 left. We can buy some stuff before it closes. How much are you? Oh, 2,000. That's not too bad. We can get there pretty fast. So, now the question is, do we just do a bunch of parsnips to try to get our gold parsnips for the community center right off the bat? Or do we try to do, like, one of everything? I mean, I guess we have time. So maybe we'll just do more parsnips for now. I don't know if I can make fertilizer yet, though. Let's find out! Run! It's funny, like, the walking is slow, but imagine the amount of energy it would take to, like, walk this much all the time. It's a lot. I do like the 10,000 steps a day thing, and that's, like, I mean, for some people that's not a lot, but I feel like it's a lot. Okay. We keep our algae. Do. Oh, I see some... I forget, like, there's a debate, like, whether those are worms or they're, like, supposed to be roots or something. I like to think of them as worms. Oops, I probably didn't make enough. Because they're moving, so... I feel like they're worms. I'll fill that up in a minute. I also don't think I've ever upgraded my watering can because I always just go for sprinklers. So I, like never waste the materials and the money. Got other things to do. Look, it's 5 30. That's like not a bad bedtime, right? Oh, I guess I could hmm I wonder if Mario or Sebastian will be home. We'll check on them. Then we'll go to bed. <laughs> do, 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 do. I think the nice part about um, recording this game rather than just playing by myself. Oh, Maru! Look at this meat. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Yep, I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Why, thank you. Maybe I should romance her. Um, oh, but the nice thing about, like, oh, I can't meet you yet, you butthole. Streaming this game. 
is like, or just recording, I'm not really streaming. Talking to myself gets really tiring, so like, I'll probably only play for like an hour max at a time. And so it kind of like helps limit me so I don't overdo it because a lot of times when I start new playthroughs of this, I'll just play it way too much and then my hands will hurt. And then, oh yes, I get you. And then I'm going to skip the frame out for like fishing. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I just like way overdo it and then I get burnt out. But like with this, if I'm only going to like play once a day or maybe not every day because I'm doing Minecraft and stuff on here too. So I'm playing this like once every few days and for an hour at most because I can only talk to myself for so long. It'll just like help limit me. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. But I think that might be it for this playthrough. I think we're close to an hour. So I hope you had fun vibing with me. Um, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. That would be really cool. And I hope you will return to continue this cozy, chill, spooky farm with me. Okay, bye!